What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Taylor River, Aleph Zero, or A Zero, uh, down 3.9% at $1.41. I've pretty much been covering this quite frequently since it was down at 70, 73 cents. Uh, I've been chilling it quite a bit in the Discord channel because I strongly believe in this coin. So I got my bags packed on this bad boy. As of right now, it's holding up fantastic. Total supply of 326. Circulating supply of 218 million and 307 million dollar market cap. All time high was 309. Let's zoom down here. 309 11 months ago. We're only down 54% from that all time high. So compared to a lot of other coins that are still down 80 to 90%, A0 has held up phenomenally phenomenally well in this bear market all-time low was at 59 cents nine months ago and lf0 still has yet to see a bull run so it's a rather new coin came out january 2022 so i'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen during the bull run and how high this bad boy can go so with that let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on lf0 <laughs> Okay, everyone, so let's get into it. So out of zero, we had this downturn that we were keeping a close eye on. We were keeping trying to keep an eye on seeing if we we're gonna to go to a dollar, but this support here at $1.16 held up crazy well. Uh, we, we had a reversal off that, broke through this downtrend, and as you can see with the red candle here, back tested as support, the support held, and after that, we had a confirmed breakout to the upside and a trend reversal. So Aleph Zero is now officially in an uptrend and a bullish trend. Indicators right now on the four hour are a little high in my personal opinion. WTX is pretty high, our size in a free fall, and we did just cross over bearish on the MACD. So we could see some more, some more, we could, we could still see some more, um, downwards movement for Aleph Zero, but I don't think we're going to be making any lows. I don't think we're going to be going below 116 for the time being. You can see right now we're, we're holding up at the 618. 618 is a very, very powerful support area on the Fibonacci extension or retracement. So if we don't break above the 618, that will most likely be the local bottom. And then we will start our next leg up to the 1236 here at around $1.66. So even though these indicators are high, if you look in the past, you can be overbought on the RSI and the WTX. Uh, and still maintain some upwards momentum. So similar to back here, how we had this bearish fake out on the MACD, we could be seeing something similar to that as well. So I'd be all eyes on the 618 at $1.38. If we break below 138, the next stop's the 0.5 at around 133. And then inevitably, if we do break below the 618, I think we'll be seeing 130 and then seeing a reversal to the upside. So keep an eye on the 618. It's holding up as fantastic support right now. As everyone knows, I'm extremely bullish on this coin. Uh, my bags are packed for the bull run. So we can see we're actually starting a looks like a small expanding wedge here. Now, like I, like I said, this isn't a whole lot of data from from 11th only a couple of days ago. So this is just a micro uh, try right now. But we're going to keep this expanded wedge here. So when I come back and chart it, we can actually see how it plays out. So I'm bullish on Alice Zero, guys. We have a trend reversal. We're heading to the upside. With that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or Twitter. The links are below in the description.